Welcome back to my channel. Today I want to show you guys how I disinfect some nail tools. I'm sorry that this is like a different view and it's probably going to be a little shaky but I have to show you guys what I'm doing by my sink and everything. So I want to disinfect and sanitize these tools that I use at my nail station every single time I do a mani. It's very important that you clean your tools so I want to show you guys my process of doing that. Before I get started showing you guys exactly how I do it, I am going to show you some of the tools that I purchased that are necessary in order to do this. So if you don't already have a barbicide container, this it comes really in handy for disinfecting your tools, storing them while they're going through the process. You also want to purchase a barbicide. They sell this on Amazon, Sally's, Beauty Supply, several other places. And you're also going to want some kind of brush like this. So you don't want it to be porous or sponge-like. You want it to have like these little fibers on them. This way they don't store bacteria and it can be easily cleansed. Just keep a new one in a, near your sink area so you always use it when you're scrubbing your tools. I purchased this one from the Dollar Tree so it only cost me a dollar for this. They also have packs of like three or four for a dollar as well that are a little different than this one. So you can use those as well. So I'm gonna grab all of my stuff and I'm gonna get started showing you guys exactly what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I have my sink full of hot soapy water and I'm gonna take my tools and I'm gonna start scrubbing them and submerging them in the water. So there's a couple that have their wraps still on. I need to take them out of the wraps. So I'm gonna submerge them in the water and then start scrubbing them clean. It's very important for them to be cleansed before we disinfect. So you wanna clean all your tools before you go through the barbicide disinfectant process. You wanna get all of that dirt, dust, and debris off of all your tools. I'm gonna have some towels I'm gonna to pull out so that they can rest on this. All right, so you wanna give it a nice, good scrub. I really like this one, it's not too stiff has a larger handle, really easy to hold, but you wanna scrub your stuff. And I'll rinse it in a second. So what you have to do next is you definitely want to read the instructions on the bottle of barbicide when you're using this because there are specific instructions on how much water to barbicide you need to use. So what I'm going to do first is I'm going to fill this up with warm water. So it's going to fill up to 32 ounces of water to 2 ounces of barbicide. So I have this little cup here that measures out to 16 ounces. So I'm going to fill this with water up to 16 ounces twice. I'm gonna pour that in. And I've measured out two ounces of water and poured it into this cup because I don't wanna put barbicide in this cup, it's only for water. This is my barbicide cup. So I measured out two ounces of water and you can see right there that it says two ounces. I used a Sharpie to mark it. So I actually had this barbicide, but I don't have enough left to do another 
clean, so that's why I had to purchase a larger one. Alright, that hit the line of two ounces. Perfect. So I'm going to pour it into my barbicide container. And that's what gives the barbicide the beautiful blue tint that it has. So now my barbicide container is blue. It has a warm water and I need to start putting the tools in it. So I'm going to put this in here like about this way and then start loading it full of the tools. So that is all in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this here off to the side and I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes. Like that's all I have to do is soak this in here for about 10 minutes. And then after 10 minutes, then it's all basically disinfected. Okay, so 10 minutes have passed. My timer went off. So it's time to take everything out and rinse and dry everything off. So... I like that it just comes out nicely like this in this little container. All right, there you go. So that is it. Everything has come out of the container. So I don't know how long you would store this for. I usually just store it for one use and then I redo it because I'm not a salon. I don't do this all of the time. So there's no need for me to keep the barbicide for more than just myself. But I've seen salons report that they keep it there for the whole day, disinfect all our tools, and then pour it out at the end of the shift at the end of the day. So I'm just going to let these air dry. Got to make sure everything is nice and wide open so that it can air dry. But you can go ahead and wipe it off with a towel if you want. I have towels that I use specifically just for my nail room. So, so I just let those dry and they're completely clean, cleanse all the things. Make sure that the brush that you use to clean everything is the only brush that you keep in this station. So you don't use one for your nails, also for cleansing and disinfecting. So that's it for this video. I hope that this was very informative for you guys. A little sneak peek into how I clean and disinfect my nail tools. Trust me, you do not want to get an infection from having dirty tools. Also, they start to feel icky after a little bit of time. And rubbing alcohol isn't the only thing that's going to do the trick. So yeah, that's what I do. If you guys have other recommendations or other things that you do, let me know in the comments below. I'm excited to hear from you guys. And if you've never disinfected your tools before, please don't feel ashamed. We, most of us haven't gone to nail school. We don't know the proper procedure on how to do this. I looked it up, did research before I started doing this, and then I felt confident sharing it with you guys. So thank you guys so much for hanging out, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!